zombies are traditionally gray, but the problem is zombies are also traditionally really scary. We're not Walking Dead, we're not World War Z. A zombie in Stop the Bleeding can't be a terrifying zombie, but at the same time, it needs to be good enough and interesting enough to make sure that you guys like it. So in order to bring the concept of a zombie into our Stop the Bleeding world, we needed to kind of tweak that so that we weren't quite scared of Franklin. We weren't as scared of Franklin as we were kind of like sad for him and worried about him. We had a lot of conversations about how to create our zombie and it's something that actually Ryan did a really nice job sculpting. The short answer is gray is scary, green is funny. And Anthony Madaloni, our, our fantastic makeup artist, can probably give you a little more detailed explanation. Zombies! <sighs> Hi, I'm Anthony Madaloni, and I'm the special effects artist on Stop the Bleeding, and today I'm turning Franklin into a zombie. When it first came to transforming Franklin into a zombie, I wanted to age his skin. It's very easy to make your character look flat by just painting on the makeup. So if you use a stipple effect with the sponge, it gives a nice natural texture to the overall color and also gives a bit of uneven spaces here and there so that it's not just one solid color. To give the face uh, a bit of depth, I use shadows in certain areas to make the skin seem as though it was getting closer to the skull. Uh, I then used highlights against those shadows to make the contrast pop even further to give a emaciated look to his face. So after an hour and a half of applying liquid latex, oil-based, and alcohol-activated makeups, we finally get a Zombified Franklin. Winner!